Get your mother running Head out on the highway Looking for adventure And whatever comes our way Like, like a true nature's child We were born, born to be wild We can climb so high I never wanna die Born to be wild Lef, le sens de l'accueil Good evening Beer Fan TV, welcome to another video, this is Lef on the Phillips Perfect Draft, you saw me pour the beer at the beginning of the video um, from the machine behind me, I probably hear it buzzing to be honest in the background, um, but uh, but yeah if you want to see what we think of uh, Lef on the Phillips Perfect Draft, um, you know pull up a pew, get yourself a chair, make yourself comfortable, I'm your host, I'm Adam, I'm going to take you through everything between the Phillips Perfect Draft and the Lef Blonde tonight, and uh, let's see what we think. Okay, so Left Blonde is part of the InBev group uh, brewed in Belgium. Um, a lot of the beers on this machine generally are InBev, um, as we know. Lef was brewed by monks, it was not, uh, 1240, and it was brewed for two reasons really. The first reason was because they felt that the water was dangerous, carried uh, disease and things like that, so when something that was cleaner, by boiling it, they killed off all that bacteria and made it a lot safer to drink. But not only that, they wanted to make sure they had a nice drink for people that, travellers, pilgrims, that sort of thing, it'd be nice to greet people with a nice beer. Okay, so a little bit of info about the beer itself, Blonde Beer, this is coming straight from their website. So Left Blonde is an authentic blonde Abbey beer with a slight hint of bitterness and smooth, full, sorry, full smooth and fruity flavour which is followed by a strong surprising aftertaste. I think that's the left tang that a lot of people talk about. Um, but it's an age old expertise, a combination of pale malt, water hops, yeast, um, and it's a subtle taste of gold colour which manages to catch and reflect the light. Left Blonde contains 6.6% .6 of alcohol, it's best served at between 5 and 6 degrees. The perfect draft is more of a lager machine, is the truth, because it kicks it out at 3. But I've been drinking this stuff for over a week now, and at 3 degrees it still tastes amazing, so don't be put off by that. I bought the beer itself from Beerhawk, and I, at the time I bought it, I bought it with three other kegs, and I pay, I used the the, um, the Perfect Drive Kegs and Tips discount, so I got 15% off the keg, also had a £5 keg return for that keg, so it works out about £23 um, off with deductions. Beerhawk at the moment advertise it for about 33 quid, £33.90 I think, so it works out with discounts, what I've paid for it is about uh, sorry, £2.30 a pint, 10 pints. If you've got some beer tokens, you might get it a bit cheaper. But yeah, I think as far as beers go on the perfect draft for cost wise, this is one of the ones that I was quite shocked at actually how cheap it was when, you know, I, it is as good as I think it is. Okay, so the beer itself, you saw it poured, it, the head has dropped down a little bit now, but it is a nice, um, it's a nice gold colour. This is in the left glass. Fantastic for drinking left out of, to be honest. The idea is, is that it's supposed to release the flavours, lock it in, give it a nice bit of carbonation, and it's meant to be ideal for the stuff that's brewed in these machines. Carbonation wise, not really not roaring with carbonation, it's actually quite low. You can see some bubbles rising from the top, I don't know if you can see those. Very subtle bubbles, very subtle. The head itself, you can see, has dropped from it, it was originally poured but it's, you can see the lacing on the glass there, you can tell it's a decent pint, and when you can see from the lacing, you can tell that that is a beer that has come from a keg, it's keg worthy beer, and um, what you generally tend to find is that's one of, where this comes into its own. The beer that's put in these kegs is the same type of beer that's shipped out to the cafes and the bars and stuff in Belgium, and that's the stuff that you drink when you go there. So, smell of the beer. It's got that fruity kind of left smell about it, it's also, you can smell those hops, Multi smells. Okay, drinking the beer. Oh, this is one of the best beer. Lovely, absolutely fantastic. Really nice, full-bodied beer, and it's just so enjoyable. The mouthfeel, fantastic. It's got a really nice body to it. It's not too thin. You can taste kind of like the bananas coming through. It's not overly carbonated, it's just an enjoyable beer. It's the type of thing that I think would go really well with food. I would say like a nice meat, but also you'd have this with a cheese board. Just so nice. So really look to sum up, this I would say is probably one of my favourite beers that I've had on the Phillips Perfect Draft. I was predominantly a lager drinker when I first got this thing. I won't go through for the lagers, I've tried the IPAs, they're also good, but this was an absolute shocker. 
absolutely fantastic and the price of it as well I need to do a video on some of the beers that I've tried from this machine um, because there's a few on there that would really shock people the Francis Scanner really good the left really good so there's a few on there that people really need to try if you're not you've got to step out of that comfort zone of what you normally do with the lagers or IPAs and try these beers honestly and I think this is one that's probably more for because it's 6.6 percent it's probably more of a an end of an evening or a beginning of an evening beer but again I think it goes so well with food it is really enjoyable and if you've got a Phillips Perfect Draft I think it's a must so listen look um, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video likes and comments always welcome we'll see you again take care Thank <laughs> you.